Okay, so a lot of you guys ask, what tool do I use to draw my stick figures, right? Do I use the brush tool? Do I use line tool? Now here is the best answer I can give you. It does not matter. You wanna choose the tool that you are most comfortable with. Like I've used the brush tool for like half my life, all right? And then just recently I actually switched to line tool and I'll give you the reasons why, but let me just draw some stick figures right now and, and just show you. Now this first way I'm doing it right now is you just using the standard regular brush tool. And this is the way I've been doing it for a very long time, okay? I feel like the advantages of brush tool is that you get a lot of freedom when it comes to the poses. You can uh, you can be more expressive with your lines. But then again, you know, there's also some drawbacks in that you have to be very accurate with your strokes. So most of the time you need a drawing tablet to use uh, the brush tool. If you're gonna use brush, take your time and make the strokes count, okay? One thing I do recommend though, for any tool that you use to draw stick figures is to enable object drawing. Other people don't use it, but I think it's very useful and I'll show you why. Here, if you don't use any object drawing, this whole stick figure is considered one whole piece, you know? So if you try to adjust things, then it's not gonna work, right? It's gonna break. But if you have object drawing and then you separate your stroke, each stroke that you make is going to be a separate object. So now I can kind of manipulate this with the free transform tool, I can make little adjustments um, when I need to. And I use this for brush, I use it for line, I use it for any tool that you use for drawing, you can use object drawing for that. And that tool is right there, okay? Now here is the line tool. And the line is literally just that, you know, it makes a, a straight line. Again, I do use object drawing for the line tool. And if you look without the object drawing, if you intersect your lines, it's gonna it's gonna be all wonky like this, okay? You don't want you don't want that to happen. Once you have object drawing on, two separate lines that cross, they're not gonna uh, be all wonky with each other because they're separate objects, okay? I'll show you a few ways of how to make the line tool a lot more useful when animating your stick figure. Now you can see the way I'm drawing the stick figure here is that I'm drawing a long straight line first and then I'm adding like joints into that straight line. Now the way you do that is first you draw a line with the line tool. You have to switch to your regular selection tool and then you have to hold alt, click on the middle of the line and then you drag and that will create like a, like a joint or like an elbow. And you can do this as many times as you want on the same line. So usually when I'm making a leg, I draw a straight line first and then I all click two elbows, one for the foot and one for the knee. And I do it this way because I'm kind of half rigging the stick figure because each limb is its own object and I can manipulate the joints within it. There's also the pen tool, the pencil tool, and, and all these tools work. Um, just play around with it and, and choose which one you are most comfortable with. It's a goddamn stick figure for Christ's sakes, you know, like you can't you can't really get it wrong as long as it looks like a stick figure, right? So here's a time lapse, uh, just in case if you're curious on how my workflow is when it comes to animating a stick figure. But there is one tool that you should not use, okay? And that tool is 